doing is we're telling them a story day after day, and people love to be told stories. I think it reverts to when you're a kid, you know, you have your parents, you know, read to you and tell you a story, and you get, oh, like when I was a kid, we used to go to the movies on Saturday afternoons, and, you know, you'd see three westerns and a serial, and you'd always want to come back and see the next chapter, and I think that that's why soap operas are very addictive, and they're not just addictive for, um, housewives, people that don't work, which is becoming less and less the case now anyway. Most women have to work, but uh, we're talking college students who stop their classes now, um, uh, major universities, uh, doctors, lawyers. I mean, some of our biggest fans are the, uh, the biggest ball players in this country, basketball players, baseball players, football players, because they play at night most of the time, especially basketball players and baseball players, they play at night, and during the day they're on the road half the time. They're addicted. I mean, I we ran into the Phoenix Suns one time in um, in, a, in an airport, and the greatest thrill in their lives was getting our autograph, and we thought the greatest thrill in our life was me talking to Walter Davis, and he wanted my autograph. <laughs> so it's it's strange, you know. We're big heroes to them. We keep them alive in the afternoons. So it lives just a few minutes from the studio. So he often takes a lunch break at his home in the Hancock Park area of Los Angeles. Stuart David is quite different from Alan Fordermeet. In the coming weeks, he'll tell us how. Also, Stuart is a marvelous storyteller. He has some wonderful anecdotes about what happens when he gets out to meet his fans. I'm John Gabriel. See you next time.